All right, both players ready. Let's go ahead and get this underway. I'm ready. You're ready. Round two, Gerald and Somalian. Three, two, one, Tetris. Gerald, very bright colors. Somalian wearing bright colors, but sitting in the dark. And that's okay. All right, both players, tall stacks, no Tetris yet. Oh, finally, Gerald gets a Tetris and another one. And there's one for Somalian, which I'm just, for some reason, I'm having trouble saying, I, you know, I've said Somalian a million times in Tetris, outside of Tetris. I have acquaintances that who are from Somalia. So I've said this a million times, but for some reason it just sounds weird when I'm saying it out loud right now. So I don't, I don't know what's happening. Ninety-five thousand for Gerald. Seventy-six thousand for. Somalian captain or le captain RRR. Yeah, the heat might be driving me a little crazy. <laughs> True. It is very hot in Austin, Texas. 148 Somalian, 170 for Gerald Freeman. Tetris Somalian, 171. Somalian trying to dig out of this. Just one line away from doing so. Uncovers the well. And he gets a long bar down for a Tetris. 223 back by almost exactly one Tetris. And there's a long bar down for each. Still ahead by about a Tetris, Gerald. There is a little tuck for Somalian. And Tetris, Somalian, Gerald still. Okay, there we go. Gerald having to take a triple. Does so. And then gets a Tetris. And another one. There's a line spin for Gerald. That'll, that'll wake you up. Line spin. That's the, be that's the best move in Tetris. That big old long bar swinging around. Doesn't look possible, but it is. All right, Somalia setting up column nine with that long bar, waiting for another long bar. And there we go, Tetris Somalian. Back by about 6,000 points.
All right, 535 for Gerald. Trying to stay efficient. Okay, that T is what you want to tuck in there. We'll take that long bar, put it in column nine. So yeah, definitely trying to, I don't know, ends up having to take the skims. A few of them actually. And so just gonna bring this stack down. I'm not gonna mess around trying to stay too perfect. Five seventy eight transition Somali and five eighty eight transition from Gerald. Tetra Somalian six oh four. Gerald setting up for one. Okay, can't get that. J over to the left, gets a Tetris in the meantime. We'll have to build around that, bring that down. And happened very easily. <laughs> so not a problem for Gerald at all. 677. So Molly gonna take, I think, a triple there to uncover a lot of garbage and uncover that well now. And long bar down for a Tetris. There's one down for Somalia, so I mean for Gerald, so trading the lead back and forth. Level 22, level 23. Basically the same score. Okay, that teal work, Tetris, 815. All right, there we go. Smiley kind of filling out the middle of that stack and the left. Ends up having to take a skim just in time for the long bar to come and cover the well. I don't know, T to fill in that little T-spin thing, but uh, there we go. Tetris down the right side, 856. Gerald able to build on that lead a little bit. Ahead now by, well, about 41,000 points. Another Tetris Somalia, 961. Gerald, one away from the max out. Can you imagine getting the maximum number of points? Oh, my word. All right, there's a nice triple and a single to uncover the well. There's the max out for Somalian through 224. And there it is for Gerald. And Somalian stack, very scary right now. And Longbar doesn't get it over. And that's going to be a top out for Somalian. Gerald is good and can top out. Gerald has taken game number one. GG's. All right, both players are ready here in game two. Let us go ahead and get it started. 3 2 1 Tetris. Right now, Somalian doing a little DAS on level 18. Each player on the board with a Tetris here in game two. Good night, Suds. Suds' uh, bedtime is, is past. 
What a responsible adult. Going to bed at a reasonable hour. T-spin for Somalian. Now set up for a Tetris. Gerald 102. Somalian waiting. And there is the long bar. 98. Back by about five or six lines, though. And there's another one. So fairly neck and neck. Gerald slight lead. Somalian setting up the delayed Vitz vertical eye tuck setup. Finally gets the long bar to tuck that in. And waiting for one more. Oh, gets that S to the left. And there we go. Long bar Tetris Somalian 152. Kind of a leftward facing tuck set up there for Somali. It's all going to work out. Gets the Tetris. 175 Somalian 216 for Gerald. So same line count. Somalian back by about 19,000 points. And Somalia is setting up for a dirty Tetris in column two. The, <laughs> the hell well. I think we cracked 8,000 followers on YouTube. So thank you so much, YouTube fans. Love to see it. Y'all are beating the heck out of Twitch, Twitch, we have 7,000. YouTube, we have 8,000. So if you're not uh, already subscribed to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Now, subscribing on YouTube is like free. It just means like, oh, I, I want to I wanna see you in my subscriptions panel or whatever, right? In my feed. That's all it means. And it helps out our channel. So if it's not something you're doing already, please give us a subscription and like the video. But don't bang that notification bell. You, know, you shouldn't be sitting around waiting for notifications all day, interrupting your day. Somalian up pretty high on the board. And gets the long bar over for the Tetris just barely. I mean, I can't imagine like, oh, you know, get, get that notification bell so you never miss a video. I, I, there's no 383 Gerald, 363 Somalian. There's no YouTuber where I'm like, I need to get a notification that they just uploaded a new video. Like, <laughs> I don't even do that for Classic Tetris Monthly when Dan V uploads a new video. Like, all right, I'll, I'll see it. I'll see that it's up really need a notification from a YouTuber? Like, I really don't. 432, maybe if it's like a live stream, okay. You know, because it's something you want to get live. But just like I uploaded a video and here it is, released. Like, eh, I'll just see it in my subscriptions. 455 Somalian, 393 Gerald. Or maybe I'm misunderstanding the value of these notifications. 418. Listen, I don't know what's going to come out of me right now. I'm very tired. There's a Z spin for Gerald. 478 Somalian up by about 37,000 points. All right, got a little nifty delayed burn from Gerald. I like that. Creative, looked cool. Flying with a little bit of a dig, just a couple lines before 19. Should be able to handle this as a, has a tapper grip right now, I believe. Is that a rolling grip or a tapping grip? I think that is a tapping grip. Could be wrong. But I think we'll make a rolling switch at 29. 
It's just below the fold, so I have no idea. 510 for Somali and Gerald back in the lead at 525. Somali gonna take that back, but they're basically neck and neck. Tetris, Gerald, 556. There's one Somalian, 567. 583, Gerald. So they're just the, the lead seesawing back and forth. Somalian slightly ahead, ever so slightly ahead in pace. All right, Tetris, Gerald, 614. 624, Somalian. Into level 23, Gerald. And another Tetris Gerald. So both players right now playing very clean, keeping pace with one another and basically just flip-flopping the score lead back and forth. There's a little bit of a slowdown for Gerald. Stanislav says, hey, Vandy, I was nominated as a best of best for my local newspaper for lawn service. Well, look at that. Well, I think you should be sponsoring a Tetris stream. <laughs> As a proud local business. No, don't do that. Uh, all right. 709 for Somalian. 751 for Gerald. And another Tetris Gerald while well, Somalian's cleaning up. Somalia with a Tetris in column two. Gerald, Tetris, 817. Eight ninety six Gerald eight ten for Somalia. Geez, I don't know why you're calling me seven of nine. Is it because I said efficient? What, like what did I say? I don't. I don't know what I'm saying at this point. Nine hundred K Gerald eight fifty two into twenty nine for Somalian. And Somalian gonna top out here right at 29. Did not transition uh, with any kind of reasonable board. And uh, that is the end of this game. Gerald takes game number two. All right, both players are ready. Gerald looking to wrap this one up right now. Somalia needs to win it to stay in it. Let's go. Three, two, one, Tetris. Thanks for the follow, Glean2509. Appreciate it. And follow us on YouTube. That would help us out a lot. As I mentioned in our community post, you know, we were considering the idea of editing out level 18, but can you imagine the way this tournament has gone <laughs> so far. I mean, there've been more 18 top outs than I can remember ever having in like any other recent events. So it would just be inexplicable what is happening. Just, it's just be too hard to do. Stanislaw, how do you sponsor a slide or whatever? You wouldn't benefit, but you know it's worth asking. No, I would like it to be something that actually benefits the person, to be honest. So, <laughs> uh, I'm 
but uh, yeah, I don't know. You can DM, you can DM me. I mean, you can send me a message and do not DM Vandy if you really want to do it. But honestly, I would promote your lawn business anyway. Just why not? Like community bulletin board. Here you go. If you're in the whatever area you're in, look up such and such and so and so. Why not? 233 Somalian, 194 for Gerald here in game three. Tetris Somalian, 280. 263 Gerald Somalian in the score and pace lead by a small amount right now. Three oh eight Gerald, three twenty six Somalian. It's just uncanny how much uh, Gerald looks like my old roommate. <laughs> Except my my old roommate. This is gonna be this is weird. He had no he had no teeth. <laughs> he had a genetic condition. Uh, which meant that, like, he didn't, he didn't have any teeth. <laughs> because otherwise, you know, normal looking person. Like, and, uh, so they had to make dentures for him, you know, like, because you want to have dentures. So he would wear, you know, once in a while he'd wear the dentures, but eventually he just gave up wearing the dentures. And so he would just have this big gummy smile and he just didn't want to wear the dentures anymore. And then, he, and then he would say, like, his dates preferred him without the dentures. <laughs> like, I, I I don't know. <laughs> is, that, is that true? <laughs> did he put them on to eat? No, he did not put his dentures on to eat. In fact, he's like, oh, te you know, the teeth, if you have teeth in your mouth, they interfere with the taste of food. And so he would like, he just wouldn't wear them. He's like, no, food tastes better without any teeth. <laughs> he, I mean, he's a great guy. He's, he's a really great guy. He's one of the nicest people I've ever known. But he was kind of an eccentric. I mean, he's still alive. He's not was, but you know. Uh, but yeah, he's like, oh no, women love it when I don't have my teeth in. <laughs> anyway, 552 for Gerald, 589 for Somalian. Yeah, no, car caramel apple was off the table. I used to love Taco Bell, burrito, you know, soft tacos. 611 here for Somalia. See, there you go. That's the Vandy show that you're missing. We get rid of level 18. Couldn't couldn't do that. So Gerald here is 600k and Somalian 658. So just remember that sequence of pieces. If you want a good game. You know, I prefer doing things my own way. <laughs> I mean, he would gum his way through steaks and like all regular food. It's just anything like super hard he wouldn't do. It was it was an adventure, you know, going out to eat with him. All right, seven fifty three for Gerald, seven forty three for Somalian. Somehow Gerald in the lead. Somalian slowed down a little bit here on nineteen, and Gerald just continues to motor along.
Oh, you want to get him to Lone Star? Yeah, he wouldn't be any good in that pickle eating contest. Which we are doing, by the way. We did not forget about that. Or at least they didn't let me forget about it. <laughs> I just want to say we're going to do stuff for the memes and then just have everyone forget. But unfortunately, they remembered. So we're going to have to do it. 842, Gerald. 858 for Somalian. How much of the Lone Star budget is for pickles? I mean, we've got a good, you know, $40 Lone Star pickle budget. 907 Gerald, 949 after a Tetris for Somalian, one line apart. So now it is Somalian back in the lead. Well, you're saying that's not enough for, that's not going to be enough pickles, but I don't think everyone who's there is going to be in on it. I think we'll have like, you know, six or eight people. All right. Maybe we need to spend like 60, but you know, six or eight people in it. Somali, I mean, Somali, yeah, with that left side. All right. Going to bring that down with a Tetris. A53 on 26 for 206 lines. Gerald just 5,000 points away from the max out as well on this level. There's the Tetris and the max out. For Gerald, there's a dirty Tetris for Somalian. Or you want to have online quals for the pickle eating contest? I don't know. I thought we we're just going to be maybe a couple of, you know, celebrity pickle eaters and then, you know, a couple just whoever advocates for themselves. I don't know what the selection process is. Like, I think I have to be involved, though. And Samaya looking to transition with a 1.2. B14 here for Gerald. Samaya with a B94 gets a long bar over with a C30 transition, but the board breaking down for Samaya can't get anything over. C30. So C31 is the target for Gerald. If he can get it, he wins. He's at B94. Needs one more Tetris would do it all the time in the world oh that long bar to the left though making things a little interesting but able to get this down the target is c31 and samaya with a great you know 1.2 into 29 uh oh gerald looking very spicy here Oh no, and Gerald cannot chase it down. And Somalian will hang on to take game three and stay in the tournament. All right, both players are ready. It's game four. Let's go three to one Tetris. So there we go. The chase downs, I don't know, the failure rate for chase downs. And, you know, these are attainable chase downs, right? But I feel like there's been a high failure rate for chase downs in this tournament. I'm just going off of what I remember, which, of course, is faulty. Or probably is. But, you know, these are, you know, these are levels that these players are have now you know become accustomed to playing or used to playing or good at playing and there's just been a i believe a high failure rate for these chase downs and you know i, I feel like it's uh maybe a function of just the 49 and people uh not quite able to you know kind of um, modulate their aggression not sure or, or just happenstance it could just be, you know, just variance, statistical noise, whatever. All right, same score, same lines. Still same score, same lines. We like that.
Well, Biggie Mac brings up a great point. It says, I have the ability to go to Lone Star, but I would need to be convinced to spend a weekend in July in Texas when I could spend it in not Texas. <laughs> I mean, that is the kind of... That is the uh, fly in the ointment for a Lone Star. And, you know, we did it to sort of coincide with the classic Game Fest 220. Still basically the same score, but Gerald ahead by two pushdown points. You know, when their scores sink back up again. They had the same score except for two points. But that is kind of, yeah, that is the fly in the ointment for Lone Star. And we, you know, we originally did it just because, all right, well, there is a retro gaming convention. It's in July. It's in, you know, so let's just do it then. Now, there may come a time where we don't have to do it in an association with a convention because I think, you know, most of the people that are coming for our event, they're there for the Tetris event. Maybe they're going to do some retro gaming stuff. I don't know. Cosplay stuff, maybe. But they're probably mostly there just for the Tetris event. So does it have to be at that venue at that time, the hottest month? in like the hottest states <laughs> like i don't know that it has to be so it's something definitely worth considering 330 for somalian 350 for gerald and this is why it was kind of like <laughs> well all right they're gonna do they're gonna do a cookout on saturday and i'm like y'all do you really want to be outside in texas in july and the, you know like god bless pumpy and and fireworks are putting this whole thing together <laughs> but they don't they don't live here and i know they've been here but they don't live here so i just i wonder if it's fully real to them like yeah you're gonna you're planning a cookout in in july in texas like at a park <laughs> like i'm not you know i'll let them do it it's their vision so let them do it i'm not gonna interfere but in my head i'm a little bit like mm, i don't know man Four twenty five Somalian four forty six for Gerald. All right, Tetris Gerald four seventy six. There's one for Somalian four fifty two and another Tetris four seventy five. So pretty darn close. Approaching the level 19 transition here in game four. And it is very close. Both players clearly in a rhythm, in a good rhythm. Stacking well. Long bar down for a Tetris for Gerald, 574. There's another long bar Tetris into 19 at 598 and Somalian will Tetris into transition at 617. All right, long bar down Tetris Somalian 641. Triple Gerald, there's a nifty little tuck set up with a flat long bar. And I love just taking that skim there that low. Good safe play. Somalian getting up kind of high on the board. Oh no, a miss shift, but gets a long bar over for the Tetris and another one for another Tetris. You could see Somalian was just like, oh no, come on. But ended up getting kind of minor, minorly bailed. Those couple of long bars in a row. Now set up in column five for the Tetris and gets it. 772, so able to maintain the lead through that misdrop. 
Gerald snaps in that S, skims, gets the Tetris 743. So Gerald back by about 33,000 points. Same line count. Eight oh five, Gerald. Eight sixty three, Somalia. And Somalia trying to force a reverse sweep situation. All right, Somalia taking some burns here. Finally set up for another Tetris. Gets it. Nine oh one on twenty four, Tetris. Gerald eight seventy two. Gerald is behind in score and in pace. Oh, Somalian up kind of high on the board here. Kind of dicey. Oh, square over to the left. Just got over to the left. You can see the relief washing over Somalian's face. That one like, woo. And 972 maintaining that lead. And Tetris Somalian with the max out on 26. I mean, everyone on earth tops out there, right? So amazing survival for Somalian. Filling out that left side. Long bar over Tetris. A41 Somalian. A11 Gerald. Same line counts. So Gerald back by roughly a Tetris. Into 28, both players, both players Tetrising. One line and 4,000 point difference. Very close. And the same pieces coming down. Like they're. I thought they were. Oh, maybe not. Maybe they were, maybe they weren't. Looked like they were for a while. Uh, all right, A91, Gerald. BO2, Samayan. Gerald gets a Tetris. B28 into the lead. Both players with low, clean boards. And it looks like Gerald just kind of singling and doubling here. Somalian maybe going a little, trying to maybe build up for something. It looks like Gerald has no plans to build up for anything unless the game just kind of gives it to him. And kind of just a war of attrition right now. I think both players may be in the same scenario. Yes, both players singling and doubling, not setting up for Tetrises. Gerald has the lead, so if it just stayed like this forever, then Gerald would win. <laughs> Assuming it all came out the same. Gerald's board getting a little bit complicated. Trying to uncomplicate it. Oh no, Gerald's board. Can't get anything over. B74 Somalian already ahead and takes game four, forcing a D Cider. GG's to Somalian. And I think I must have missed a Tetris on Somalian's side. So I was watching Gerald for at the moment. So there must have been a Tetris. So Somalian, if you want to keep going, go ahead and mull on this one out. I think Somalian's having a game. All right, there you go, GG's. It is game number five, what was once best of five, now a best of one. The winner of this individual game makes it into the semifinals. Gerald, the former CTM Masters event champion against Somalian, who's trying to make, uh, make some noise in this tournament. Let's go ahead and get this underway. Three, two, one, Tetris. Somalian looking to make this a reverse sweep was down two games to none. To start off the match against Gerald. But a very impressive uh, run in Soma for Somalian in game four. All right, nifty burns there for it, Somalian. To get some safe plays here just to start off the game. All right, there we go. Setting up a tuck. That's the Somalian we know. 
48,000 Somalian, 45,000 for Gerald. Right, Tetris Gerald, 95,000, 71,000 for Somalian. Now, remember, you know, making it into the top eight. We're at 2.5% of the prize pool. That's roughly $50, but making it into the semis, that is going to be it's about $180. So that is a substantial pay jump riding on this one game. Now, of course, it's not all about the money, but you know, hey, you like money, right? Oh, there we go. The five below for Gerald. Gerald makes it in. It, it will be a semifinals of all previous winners. Not all previous winners, but only previous winners. Is what I mean. <laughs> they are not all in there, but only previous winners are in there. And it would be... You know, it would be three one-time winners plus Eric, right? So there you go. And then Somalian, though, trying to... Cr now, if Somalian gets in, of course, you're going to get through a field of, you know, three other winners. That's a challenge. But Somalian looking good today. Playing with a lot of confidence, especially, especially these last couple of games. Gerald 296, Somalia 297, one line separating them. Game Scout saying Somalia seems to have dramatically improved with rolling recently. Yeah, I, I think recently in terms of like last half hour. <laughs> that's that's how I think recently. Like never seen Somalia roll that well. 346 Gerald. Sometimes things just click and all of a sudden things just start happening for you. You know, you put in the time. And then there, you know, there is that moment where, you know, you're you got one skill level and then all of a sudden it clicks and then you're a totally different player the next moment. Like those things happen. All right, nifty series of burns here for Samayan trying to weather this drought. Oh no, at the top of the board, this is very tricky for Somalian. That left side. Oh, can't get the long bar over to the left. That is going to end Somalian's run right here, right now. Gerald already ahead, just like that. 94 lines in. So I'm going to top out. And Gerald is good, surviving a scare from the challenger, Somalian. So, GG, Somalian, you did really well. Uh, congrats to you for your great performance. I uh, hope to see you again. And I'm looking forward to what you can, you know, how, how you're going to top this. So, but it is Gerald who is the winner of the bracket. So let us show a winner of a Tetris game named Gerald right here. There you go. Whoops. Gerald is a winner. Now, Gerald does have teeth, so definitely not my old roommate. So congratulations, Gerald. You are the winner. We will see you very soon. So getting that scheduling thing and get that all scheduled. So we can take a look at the bracket if I had been reporting this the whole time, although Chiller might be doing it. So 
anyway, yeah. So where it says winner of match nine, that is going to be your good friend, Joe Freeman. Gerald will be taking on SV Nestris. And Eric will be taking on Huffleupagus. So especially that game, that second game, the Eric. And by the way, it's one, two, three, four. All the top seeds are in. So very probably everyone's going to win the bracket that Mark Migas runs. But anyway, yeah, that second game, that Eric and Huffleupagus game, that one could be one that really goes deep. And, you know, what we want is that double level 49. I mean, that is like the holy grail. But that isn't to say that the Gerald and SV game couldn't do that either. I mean, they're both very capable 49, but I feel like Eric, you know, has the... Um, has the history of being able to do that, of course, at the highest level at CCWC. And Huffleupagus also very skilled deep kill screen. So looking forward to that. Don't know when that's going to be. We will um, put it in the Discord in the events tab. So that's the thing to do. Go to ctm.gg slash Discord. And that'll bring you into the Discord server. You go to the top of the list of channels. And there's a thing that says events. And that's where it will be listed when we know. Hey everybody, this is your old pal, Vadweller, host of Classic Tetris Monthly, and I'm asking you to do me a favor. If you like this video, hit thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe and bang that notification bell. And follow us on Twitch at twitch.tv slash monthly Tetris. Thank you, and have a nice day.